have a furlong to go. It is Baid in front by two lengths. It's hands and heels stuff again. Real World is chasing him. Order of Australia back in third position, but a great meeting, a scintillating winner. Baid is unbeaten. Big crowd here today, and he's so relaxed. He's got such a great mind. And it's just a, a, a joy to ride from the moment the gate's open. Furlong to go in the King Stand, and as they do so, Nature Stripe leading to Acklam Express in second place. Twilight Course coming home in third position, but it is the great Australian sprinter, Nature Stripe, and James McDonald, and look how far they've won by. It was just an absolute privilege. The whole the whole week, we've been greeted with open arms and looked after like royalty, and um, we feel proud to be here. He's an eight-time Group 1 winner for a reason, an Everest winner for a reason, and he's a, he's a superstar, it's as simple as that, and his work's been unbelievable, and when uh, he's coming over here, Australians got the best sprinters, and, it's, and it was well documented there. Karibas now gets the run to the inside. My Prospero, Mighty Ulysses are still battling away. It's Karibas just in front from the rallying Lucille. Then My Prospero as they head towards the line. It's Karibas. Karibas for the St James's Palace win. I knew he was the best horse in there. I knew he was a horse with all the gears. Um, you know, it was just a case of getting the getting the run when I when I needed it, and I, and I did. A you know, fantastic result for his Highness Sheikh Mohammed and, and, and Team Godolphin, and I can't thank the team at home enough. They've done a fantastic job you know, for years now, but this season they've really given it a, a big push. And Brad Sale now moves into the lead under Holly Doyle from Roll Scotsman in second. They're inside the final half of Furlong, and it's Brad Sale who's had a couple of lengths lead, and Brad Sale will win the Coventry Stakes. It's just a, incredible to win it now. He's a very, very good horse. I said to my fiance Brody last night that whatever wins this, by daylight will be a superstar and I'm delighted that it was us that did that, you know. Yeah, it's excellent, you know, that's Archie's second Royal Ascot winner now and it was great to be on board. Callum Hutchinson backling it out with Bring On The Night. All the time, Arcadian Sunrise thundering down the centre, but as they race up towards the line, Coltrane is holding them and with Callum Hutchinson has won. Oh, it's unreal, I can't put it into words. It's just a big thank you to the boss and the Marys Court, he's for giving me such a great opportunity. Harovian is staying on path West End Charmer, but Dubai Futures clear inside the final furlong and will be a decisive winner of the Wolverton Stakes. Look to Ray for Said, Godolphin in, in, in these colours is, is great and no better place to Ray winners than here. Okita Sushi the side as well getting into it, but as they race up towards the line, it's Get Shirty who's won. Yeah, he was going nice and like you say, I just needed to get up to up here and uh, luckily we got there in the end and um, he powered clear to the line, so uh, yeah. Couldn't be more trouble.